morning vlog quick 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 introduction can you see the sun's out yes i got to wake up late this morning how wonderful yes i know i'm looking beautiful hair is done nails are done i actually did a video of that so you need to go watch it everything diy baby diy and i wanted to show you my plants from four ways market if you can remember how they look when i first got them well brace yourselves brace yourselves honey because how big they are oh my gosh and they tilting facing the sun <laughs> look how beautiful that is this is my favorite one like she doesn't even want to tilt but yeah you can believe me, I don't want to take her out of her natural position. This one, she's just, yeah. This one is growing exponentially. It's like half past eight now and I'm on my way to school. I'm wearing my thrifted jacket and some black pants and my docks. And I'm really hoping to have a good week, a nice week, a better week, a fulfilling week. And I just want to be okay mentally and you know like a normal person but i hope you guys enjoy the vlog i already love the feeling that i get from this vlog you can already tell i was in a much better space there was so much better energy i felt confident i felt calm and ready to tackle the week come get lunch with me it's so hot and the lesson ended early so i just want to get like this music. Like fart in here. This well, I guess welcome to the vlog. Welcome again to my very safe space. And all things, what are we even doing in this life? Don't forget to text your fellow university student and check on their mental health because it is rough out here. Welcome to a very productive week, a very busy week. And all things school, studying, survival of the fittest, and more school. Enjoy! I love it when I'm in here alone. Because it feels like it's like just my room until like people come. But I got some lunch. Let me show you what I got. I got a pepper steak pie. It's a little cold, but I think it's supposed to hold me. And then I got... Oh! A custard donut! <laughs> It looks so good. Yum, 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 yum. It's gonna give me a stomach ache. But yeah. I'm just gonna chill now and wait until 2 for my mom to finish because luckily today is not a long day when I'm not here until 6. So I'm just gonna watch a show and chill. In university, you're constantly asking yourself, what are you doing? Because everyone around you is either still in university or some people are even working already. Especially in this economy and the pressure of studying further, you constantly ask yourself, am I going to do another degree after this one? Do I have the stamina left in me? I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but just for context, I went to three different high schools. I feel like I say this all the time. It's really becoming a personality of mine. But I'll forever be grateful for one of these high schools that I went to because the friends that I met there really pushed me to work harder. I remember there was a day where we had so much Jew and I was like, you know what guys, sometimes I just can't even do my work. Like I won't do my work. I remember her looking at me with just complete utter shock and said, but na lady, you don't have a choice. You have to do your work. And in that sentence, she didn't really say you, but she did say we. And she was really alluding to the fact that we were so different from the girls we went to school with and how we had no choice but to work 10 times harder. The day is done. Nothing really happened today. I just tutored. Ah, I didn't tutor. I invigilated and chilled in here. 
and I'm hungry and I'm going home. Seven and people are out, people are busy, and I'm gonna go for a run and do a 3k, try to push myself, be better than yesterday. So let's go. So, to take you back to the story of when I was in high school, I think from that day I really understood that sometimes working hard, yes, is a choice, but most of the time you really don't have a choice. but if you want to see yourself where you picture yourself being, then hard work is just a non-negotiable. This week, I definitely put a few non-negotiables for myself, and that was running in the morning, which is not easy at all. And also doing my work, especially when I'm at school, at every minute that I get so that I can put myself ahead and that's not to say ahead of anyone but ahead of myself to be the best version of myself that I can be so in every situation whether it's high school homework university work ask yourself how much is this worth first one to class and it's 20 to 10 and we start at 10 people do not arrive early they arrive like probably five minutes before class starts so welcome to class i literally always sit here me always this is what i do how much is it worth in the sense that what will it cost you if you don't do this work what will happen in the long term if you do do this work what will happen in the long term and obviously by continuing to create these non-negotiable standards for yourself you will end up forming a habit of just getting things done and getting your work done getting it done on time is probably going to be your key to success in university